Hi everyone, it's Lisa and Luna from Don't Run With Scissors. And I've had a lot of questions since I've moved to Georgia about what my new craft space looks like. So I decided to do a quick video about my new home uh, in Greater Atlanta. So I moved down here in November and uh, claimed this bedroom for my space. So I brought my microwave cart from the kitchen, which now holds all of my equipment. Um, on the bottom, there's a color printer. You can see the brother scan and cut. Um, this baby here that's actually covered is uh, 12 by uh, whatever, 24 printer. It's just massive. Sean got that me for Christmas a couple years back. Big Cricut. Um, so I use this cart for all my stuff and my electronic stuff. And I did go out and get two more Ikea shelves so that I could have my storage space that I've been dreaming about. So you can see my markers and the paper. Um, uh, I did keep my Cricut cartridges up top, acrylic paints. But in all my drawers, there everything's pretty sorted. Here's my pastels. Oh, my 3D stamp paint. That's fantastic. And the rub-ons. Those are that's good stuff if you ever need something like that. My Spectrum Noir marker collection, as well as additional um, markers that I do have. My colored pencils, which again, these are all Spectrum Noir and I really, really love their products. I just picked up the Aqua Pens that are home here um, from HSN the other day. And then we move over to the Stamps Pads and these are uh, the Stampin' Up! kits that I had picked up along the way. This is the watercolor drawer um, with my Peerless watercolors and my beautiful box here that we have. Yeah. Oh, just love it. So excited. Everything's out and getting used. I got to do some work today, so that was really fun. This is my gelato keeper box. So all my gelatos are all in one spot and my uh, alcohol inks. Cute little cigar boxes my friend gave me. Extra stamp pads and my distress pads. All kept nice and hopefully orderly for the time being. And this is just like my miscellaneous stamp pad area, um, your cat's eyes and stuff like that. So backing up, um, all my stamps or my wood mounted stamps are here. That's my scrap pad. Um, so this is one of those accordion files that I have everything just sorted by color. So I can just kind of grab anything that I want when I need it. A little table. These are the original shelves that I had uh, in my house. Uh, upstairs in my library, uh, which has kind of been defunct, um, but pretty much all the odds and ends, stickers, magazines, idea books, um, extra supplies, all my stamps are organized with these cute little, oh, that's a nice glare you got there, huh? the cute little uh, plastic sleeves, so everything's organized here by Newton's Nook, or Lawn Fawn, um, got Hero Arts and Heartfelt Creations down here. And let's see, I think these are stamping up, so close to my heart too. And then we move over to my die cutting area. So I have the, my big shot and my cuddle bug and all my, my necessary plates and cutting apparatus here along with my laminator. The really cool thing about this table is it's got two drawers. So when you die cut and you have extra stuff left over, such as little hearts, I use this drawer for my little extras. Um, when I've been cutting things or just making things for the fun of it. It's my extras. Luna, say hello. Hi. This is Luna. And this is Luna's spot. You want to show them your spot? Come on. Yeah, show them your spot. That's your spot, huh? And that's her bird feeder that we put up here so that she can hang out. So today while we were crafting, she was hanging out here playing. How's your day? Yeah, you're dancing. Okay. And then we move over here. This is where I have all of my uh, sticker maker stuff and my punches. Of course, this isn't all the punches. They, some are still in storage and and uh, hidden away in a closet. Um, a little shelf with some of my odds and ends for painting and my, my, uh, my watercolor bucket of fun. This thing is great. If you don't have one of them, go on Amazon and get one so you can do your paintbrushes nice and clean. 
And then over here we have my smaller paper um, and all these boxes have my glitter, embossing paste, um, there's extra ribbon in there. There's Luna here in the water. That's not for you. Can you not get any ideas? I have my rolling cart full of eight and a half by 11 paper that I picked up with a couple extra stickers on the bottom. Uh, if you ever had the creative memories uh, thing on the bottom left there, that's a, a nice spot for your uh, hanging files. And then uh, up top is some of the cards that I've made over the time and uh, my racks, which I'm slowly moving into. I haven't really gotten too far. And then I have, which I will show, I normally wouldn't open this closet door, but I will, just for all of you. I have my 31 uh, pack up here is where I try to keep all my receipts for things that I buy and then I kind of true up at the end of the year to see how terrible I was, um, as well as some of the cars I've made lately. And then in my closet, it's stacked, but I do have another organizer here that I have some stuff that I don't always use, but um, all the hotel room keys I have from traveling really good when you're doing embossing paste. I've shown that in my videos before. Um, and some other odds and ends, just stamp a majig, extra glue pens, and extra paint brushes. So that's that. But here is uh, the messy closet. Shouldn't end on this, but I just wanted to show my ribbon racks. So if you have pant, these are pant hangers, um, but your ribbon will fit on them just perfectly, perfectly well. So, so yeah, so welcome. Oh, and my, my table, we can end on my table. That's actually pretty good. A couple days ago, Ikea had these little beauties on sale for $3.99, and they've got little dividers in them, so I'm able to keep everything I use very quickly uh, in both of these, these containers. I have two U-lines uh, that have my uh, double stick tape, so making stickers or putting stuff down. Uh, this is just some scratch paper, so if you need to do some glue, it's also the weight I'm using right now to cover up my cards that I made earlier today with some leftover pieces I had. I have a big mat. Uh, this was actually the We Are Memory Keepers that just came out with those extra large um, bag makers and the, the cutters that we have to play with. That was an HSN purchase before I moved, so I really hope to get to play with that soon. This is my needs to be put away bin, so while stuff just keeps accumulating, I try to keep it clean and put it here. Embossing paste and sponges, uh, some embossing powder, no, there's no paste here, but there's powder. Uh, that's white and clear, your, your normal ones. And those stamp pads are the go-to. So those are your blacks that can be used with your alcohol markers or blacks that can be used with your watercolor markers. And I just have to go look at Luna because she's being so dang cute right now. Pretty girl. So yeah, so this is home. And this is where I will be crafting and doing my videos. Uh... Coming up soon. Actually, the camera's up there right in the top. So I wish you all well and a happy weekend. And I have to start going to doing some blog posts on the cards that were made today. So from here, it's Lisa and Luna saying, get your craft on and have a great weekend. Thanks.